I am Chuck Chuck. I am Wayne Balsamo, uh, and I directed this with my dad Thomas. And uh, this is uh, this was this was our, our our passion project for this past uh, seven eight months for this this past summer. And uh, it, it was just truly really a joy to work on with these these wonderful animals. Thomas Balsamo and uh, the producer role and uh, co-director with Wade and uh, we're up from World Touch Productions in uh, Barrington outside of Chicago and um, this when Jody came to us this was a great joy because uh, this project is right up our you know it's right in our wheelhouse it's totally perfect uh, because of the connection and it's just it was just a beautiful uh, project. Hi, I'm Jody Deagle, and I'm the president and founder of Soul Harbor Ranch. And Soul stands for sharing of unconditional love. So uh, we wanted to be able to share the story of what our animals do for other people. And so we connected with Thomas and Wade, and they're able to share our story and evoke emotion and make people cry because they feel the love of what our animals do in their soul. And it wouldn't be possible if we didn't have this amazing crew of people. Uh, teamwork makes the dream work, right? And so we have our volunteers. We have Claire and Carrie and Ann. And then, of course, our very special animals. Today we have Mystery, who is an eight-year-old miniature therapy horse. And we have Unique. She's a 15-year-old registered therapy ho horse. Both of them have done extensive testing to be able to come out into the community and hospitals and and share this unconditional love that uh, connects with our soul. So I actually want to talk with Wade and Thomas because you are, you know, this is about filmmakers, this is about films, and you're coming into this in a unique way. So start to tell about the story. First of all, how did you, how did you decide what direction you wanted to take? How did you feel when you started to connect with these animals and the people? Take your turn and each talk about that a little bit. Well, uh, we, we've worked on several different documentaries involving animal therapy and equine therapy. And when, when Jody came to us with the miniature horses and we, we saw how, uh, how accessible that, that this makes animal therapy, being able to bring them into the hospitals and bring them to people who, who might otherwise not, not have the opportunity to spend this time just this healing time, being able to embrace and love these animals, uh, we, uh, my, my dad and I both kind of wanted to capture them in a very authentic, kind of cinema verite style of documentary, where you know we're showing what's really happening. We're not staging anything. We're not making anything up. It's just what's the the magic that's already there, and bringing that onto the screen in a way that's just, you, you can't get that from, from faking it. You can't, you can't create that because it's just, it's just what happens. And, then that, and that's pretty cool. And that's, that was all we were going for. I really love that when you said the magic that really happens. And Thomas, I'd like you, you to address that a little bit. What was some of that magic that really happened? I think it, all the magic comes with, uh, with the love. Um, that's here with this group um, at Soul Harbor Ranch. And uh, our tagline at World Touch Productions is we leave lasting impressions on hearts and minds. And so we love when we have an opportunity to work with a group like Soul Harbor because it's truly, like all the volunteers, it's just, um, and it like, starts with Jody, um, the love that they give out and they put into this whole process where we have had opportunities to capture people that were in you know, a lot of kids with disabilities and um, hospitals, pediatric hospitals, some of the kids are there for eight or nine months. And when those kids see the little horses, and we were uh, filming this little girl, we were in her room, and when the horse was coming down the hall, she heard the clip clock, and she'd been there long enough, so she already was familiar with the experience of the horse. And, you know, she came alive and you know how bored you could get if you imagine sitting in a hospital room for eight or nine months and uh, all of a sudden she heard it, the horse clopping down the hall and she just lit up she said I hear the horse's feet and uh, it was just really you know it's just it's just amazing and magical because 
she's got a lot of life issues she's dealing with, but for a few moments when the horse is with her, she forgets about all of her problems and she becomes a kid again and she becomes, a, she finds, you know, peace and joy and it's just, it's really, it is magic. I can't describe it any other way. Jeremy, I'd actually like to ask you a question because I think, you know, you have this organization that you've been working with for a long time and now you are putting it into film and you have this vision of what you are hoping to see and there has got to be so many moments that you saw being captured, maybe some that were never even made it to screen. So talk a little bit about those times. You know, what's very interesting, you know, thinking about what is a visit, because we're asked all the time, what happens, what is the magic, what is a visit? And trying to describe it in words, I think the best way, I had to actually think about this, I can still remember, you know, 2012, and, and describing a visit as, it's laughter, joy, smiles, love. It's the sharing of unconditional love, and that's the healing. So some of the experiences that we've had are the blind boy that is you know, unable to see, who can reach out and, and touch a horse's mane, and just this belly laugh. Remember Jake? Um, Darren, who we visit at Markland for Disabled, and he's also nonverbal, but he gives us the, the thumbs up, and just this, this incredible laugh, and a smile that just lights up the room. Um, Christopher, waiting for a heart transplant, whose mom says, I've got a really, he's had a really bad day. And we walk in, and our horses just make him light up. And so some of those moments, again, you, you might not see in this video, but we knew that we experienced those moments. And we're so blessed to be able to have Thomas and Wade put this on film and evoke emotion in people so that they feel the love and the healing that our animals do for others. And so we're very, very blessed by our entire crew and our animals and now Thomas and Wade to share this with all of you. You know, I know what goes on behind the scenes and sometimes how long it takes to capture those moments. And that's exactly what I'd like you to talk about because you had those precious moments. I, I think of the heart transplant situation where he's just hugging that horse's head or the nose to nose and stuff. So talk a little bit about, you know, how, how did that come about and how long did it take, I mean, from the film side, the filmmaker's perspective and, um, and what you had to do to make some of that come out. Well, Christopher was, was one of the, the subjects we knew from, from the very beginning that um, Jody was very passionate that his story has to be in this film because of how deeply he had been touched by these horses when he had been sitting in his hospital room for, for weeks and weeks. Uh, I, think, I think his mom was like six, 186 seven months. days, I believe, somewhere about 186 it. days. Yeah. <laughs> he was counting the days yeah. until these horses would come back to visit him again. That was what got him through those tough moments. And that's just beyond me. That's just something amazing that, that Jody and Saul Harbor is able to, to create those moments. And uh, as a filmmaker, to have the opportunity to be in the room when the, when the horses walk in is just like, that's just a gift and that's humbling and that's, I can't take any credit for any of that because it's, it's this boy and this animal and the people who arranged it to happen, but it's just the magic of that connection that you, I mean. And that's the human-animal connection right there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and Thomas, um, I want you to recall a special memory or one moment. It doesn't even have to be something that got into the film, but something that really hit, you, hit home for you. Well, one of the most profound moments that really just touches me is in the film and it's when we were at journey care which is a hospice center and there was a older gentleman that was probably on his last days or hours I, I when that horse came in you know he just came alive he just lit up his eyes were just so big and he kept just saying, you're so beautiful, you know, and he just, and I, you know, if you're a spiritual person, I think he was half crossed over, and I think it was, 
I think it could have been God saying that through him. I really do, and I haven't said that before. But uh, I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And like our Verite style, you know, we didn't interrupt anything. We were just, there was, we had two cameras in the room and we were, we were just both rolling and the magic, you know, capturing the magic that was happening. It was, because um, we've done a lot of, you know, live action work and well, we have big, huge crews and it's really refreshing to be able to like have a real simple, small crew documentary style where we were able to, um, where beautiful moments were happening and we were just able to roll and just be in the right place at the right time. And, and uh, it's really, um, special uh, opportunity, you know, as filmmakers to be able to have that kind of opportunity is, is pretty incredible. Wait, uh, I want to go back to you and talk a little bit, this is a, a, a about filmmakers, so let's talk about that part of it in the sense of, okay, how many hours did you shoot, and how long did it take you to get to where you needed to be, and from beginning to end, how long did that take? So talk a little bit about the, that part of it. Um, okay, so I think we had seven shoots, at least seven shoots. Um, there was over 26 hours of footage, and that's part of the magic that I love of editing is being able to boil that down and like, how do you how do you create these, you know, six, I think the shoot spanned almost six months, how do you simmer all of that down into this experience that lasts just a few minutes, but yet can stick with you for forever? Uh, and. Uh, Oh, that, that's, that's exactly it. I mean, how do you do that? But certainly, Thomas, you can address that same concept. And how many hours did you yeah, spend? Yeah, the, the <laughs> love, you know, Wade, Wade is a brilliant editor, and uh, the love that he puts into it, he insists on watching the, all the footage after we've done the last shoot. Maybe we've, you know, peaked at some of it, but he insists on watching it, and I think this was about a three-day stint where I brought the food into his studio, into our studio, into his office. And uh, he was pretty much there for three days and uh, sleeping a little bit on his couch, but not that much. And, uh, to get to come up with that, it's got to all be in your mind at the same time to be able to like find all the right um, little scenes. Yeah, it's a, it's you know we we get to see the final project, but really there's so much work in put in behind the scenes. So you was you were watching all of that happen. It I'm was sure. So it was three days of the initial footage, but then weeks and weeks of putting it all together. So the first time through is like three days. Okay, Jody, so you're gonna talk about it from the other side of the picture and what you were watching and how long it took and what you were thinking during the time and just bring that to the to the our audience here. Well, as much as we wanted to tell our story, um, but I have to tell you, it, it probably didn't tell both of you, just how stressful it was to make sure that, you know, with, when we're filming and just the nerves that go along with filming, um, you know, we like to think that we just are there for the emotion and love with our animals and then to be behind the camera as we tell our story. We really want the focus to be on our animals and then all of a sudden the focus is on us. Um, but we understand that we have to be here to tell the story, and then when you see the story, the story is told. We don't need words to tell our story, and once we understand that, the nerves all go away. Um, it took you know several months, again, all these shoots. Our horses are prepped, groomed, cleaned, um, making sure that we've connected with the facilities before. So it's a big process to go through. This year alone, we've done 161 visits. We, most of us work full time and we do this as all volunteers, about 35 volunteers. So you can imagine what goes into that to make this happen. So um, again, we're, we're so grateful because this story is now out there and all of you get a chance to feel it and, and feel that in your soul. And, and that's beyond imagination for us. I, I, I think there have been many tears from all of us that we have a chance to share the power and magic that horses have. Many of us already know that magic, but until you bring a horse to somebody and let them feel it as well, then we know why horses are here in our lives. You know, I think that was a very profound comment that you made, it's the visual. And it's all about the visual, especially in these circumstances, because you can't put those into words you can't, you know, really to tell a story, you can't put it into words. You have to let that visual take over and that's really what's gonna be 
you know, get and the message. And that's truly the magic. Wade and Thomas have gone above and beyond to tell our story, and, and we are so grateful to be able to share this here, especially at the Equus Film Fest, so more people can feel that magic. So I want to wrap this up now, but I want you each to take a turn and say some last minute words, and then how do people get in touch with you, learn more about you know, what, you, what you guys do, and also what Soul does. So feel free to say a few more words and give them a way to get in touch with you. Um. <coughs> I don't know where else to go because I feel like it's the visual. <laughs> it's the, visual. The, whole, the whole arc of the story gets to this place where it's you know you just have to set the context of you have all these words to to explain what's happening and trying to to set the scene in these different places and you understand what's going on and then the pacing kind of slows down to this place where the final scene there's really there's not an interview there's not voiceovers over it there's the pacing slows down to the end where it's, there's kind of this moment of quiet, this moment of peace. And I just, I think that's what creates some of that spark and that connection that, that you, because that's what's happening in that room is there's just that serenity of being there with that graceful, beautiful, majestic animal and what that does so powerful and uh, that's exactly right that's exactly right I mean there how can you say it any better right it's so powerful and Thomas you can even wrap up and give a little direction on where people can reach you sure yeah <laughs> yeah it's all about being in the moment and, and to allow that to happen and we've learned a lot as filmmakers uh, to just to kind of uh, help people to feel at ease and trust us so then the real thing happens so uh, we're uh, World Touch Productions, and we're out of Barrington, Illinois, which is about 45 miles northeast of Chicago, northwest of Chicago. And um, we have been making films for going on 11 years now. Um, and it's just a joy to us to try to, um, we work with mostly nonprofits and do mostly social cause films. We've helped to raise a lot of money in the world of autism, Down syndrome, done a lot of work with kids with disabilities and um, a lot of other topics like uh, equine therapy and also walk on farms we've worked with uh, twice now in the last 10 years. We're, uh, our website is worldtouchproductions.com and it's just, uh, this is our a labor of love for us. It's really not a job. So. And Jody Soul. And Soul Harbor Ranch, we're at soulharborranch.com. Again, Soul stands for sharing of unconditional love and we know horses are good for our soul, and that's kind of how our tagline came about. So we're also in Barrington, Illinois, northwest suburbs of Chicago. We visit all around that area, uh, in the suburbs and in Chicago. Feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. We also help to mentor people around the country regarding um, getting into miniature horse therapy. And our horses are registered through a national therapy um, organization called Pet Partners. So we have something much that you know we understand that our miniature horses are adorable and very cute, especially in their teddy bear sneakers and their Cavallo little blingy boots. Um, but they are much more. They are registered therapy animals. It takes a lot to get them to this very quiet, relaxed, so kind state. Um, this is a lot of training that goes into this. So and again. We're, uh, we're so blessed that we have this story now um, through the professionalism and integrity of Thomas and Wade. So thank you for um, everything you've done through World Touch Productions for Soul Harbor Ranch. And thank you all for joining me, sharing your unconditional love today. Thank you thank very you. much. <laughs>